Good morning. Today we're going to air fry some of the savory fuelings. Good morning and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using the Octavia 5-in-1 program. With the Octavia 5-in-1 program, you eat five fuelings a day which come to you in your monthly Octavia box and then you have one lean and green meal. So I wanna to look today at a couple of the more savory fuelings and how you can fix them in your air fryer. Please keep in mind that for me, I do not add anything to my fuelings other than the water that is called for on the package. So I know that there are people who will add egg beaters or egg whites, baking powder, laughing cow cheese, shredded cheese, they will add things to their fuelings. My choice for me to be able to get the most out of this program, I am simply following the package preparation instructions as far as what to add to it, but then I might make it in a little bit of a different way. So each package on the back will tell you how much water to add, and I typically will follow that most of the time, sometimes I'll add a little less, sometimes I add a little more depending on the fueling, but it's only ever water. And then it will tell you on the back how to cook it in the microwave and how to either bake it in the oven or for some of them to cook it on the stove top. Um, but I like to employ both my Dash Mini Waffle Maker, which I will show you one of the fuelings using that today, and I like to use my air fryer. And I have mentioned that in several videos and I've had several people who said, please show us how you use the air fryer to cook your fueling. So I'm gonna show you today the buttermilk cheddar and herb biscuit in the air fryer. I am going to make some tater tot slash french fries with the mashed potato. I'm gonna use the roasted garlic mashed potatoes, but you can use the sour cream and chive. They're both really good. And I'm gonna show you how to do some little potato puffs using the honey sweet potatoes with brown sugar and cinnamon. So this one is more sweet, but I still consider this one of those savory feelings. So I'm gonna start, first of all, with my all-time favorite, and the one that really hooked me on using my air fryer is the buttermilk cheddar and herb biscuit. Now, I know that there are people, this is kind of one of those fuelings that you either really love it or you really hate it. And I know that there are some people who don't like all of the herby flavor in it, but I happen to like herbs, and so this one doesn't bother me one bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with following the instructions exactly as they are, and it says to add three tablespoons of cold water. So I just use my filtered water and three tablespoons into the bowl. And then I add the fueling. And then I'm just gonna mix it up, I'm gonna whisk it you can mix it however you want to. Um, if you wanna just use a spoon, that's fine. I think that a whisk actually breaks up some of the clumps a little bit more, and I wanna make sure that it is super hydrated. So one thing that I have found with a lot of the fuelings, the powdered fuelings, is that if you give them a few minutes to hydrate, then you get a better result. So what I'm gonna do, I've got this mixed up, I am now gonna turn on my air fryer to preheat it. So I'm gonna turn it on to 360. I'm gonna let it preheat for five minutes. And in that five minutes, I'm just gonna let this fueling sit. And then I will be back in five minutes to show you the next step. Before I go any further, let me invite you to subscribe and to like this video. If you are interested in keeping up with Octavia Fuelings, unboxings, lean and green recipes, and my own reality checks each week, please hit that subscribe button. You can put the notification bell on or not, uh, but I would also really appreciate it if you would like this video as well. And then leave some comments down below. What are some videos that would be helpful to you? What's some information that you feel like you might um, be missing or that you think would be encouraging for yourself or for others? I would love to get some ideas for great videos to share with you if there are recipes you want me to try. 
or feelings you want me to try to transform again i'm not going to hack them but i will transform them um, just let me know in the comments down below okay pro tip for you these little paper ramekins can go in the oven they can go in the microwave they can go in the air fryer trust me tried it all well, i haven't tried the microwave because i don't have a microwave but i've definitely tried the oven definitely tried the air fryer they work they, they don't burn they don't even get they may get a little tan but they don't burn they're totally safe in the oven all right so i preheated my air fryer to 360 that's what i found works the best i've allowed this to hydrate i'm just going to take this little ramekin and i'm going to scrape it into the ramekin and trust me i use a scraper because i want to be sure that i get every little bit of the fuelings they're expensive you pay a lot for these so don't let them go to waste plus you want all of those calories and then I, once i scrape it in i'm just gonna drop mine into the basket this is the kind i have i haven't tried the one that looks like a toaster oven but i'm sure it works the same way and then i'm going to set this to to cook for 10 minutes and then i will come back and show you what it looks like timer just went off so let's see how it goes it is hot first of all you can see that little container is not burnt at all now the top granted is a little brown but it's really not uh, burnt at all pops right out you can see not burnt so we are good to use that in the air fryer and then i'm just going to let it cool it's pretty hot um on the rack for a little bit um, and then what i will do because i'm not going to eat this one today i just wanted to show you how to do it um, i will stick it in a ziploc baggie and stick it in the fridge and probably eat it tomorrow if i wasn't going to eat it tomorrow then i would do it on I would put it in the freezer for another day. So while the air fryer was cooking, I washed the dishes because I don't have a dishwasher and I prehydrated both the um, honey sweet potatoes and the package says to use a half a cup of water, but because I'm not microwaving it, it's really going to do its cooking in the air fryer. I only did six tablespoons. So just between a half, a quarter of a cup and a half a cup, that would be six tablespoons. And I let it sit. So it sits, been sitting for almost 10 minutes. It was pretty um, runny at first, but now you can see it's really the texture of baby food, which is exactly where I want it. So just let it sit for 10 minutes. I did the same thing with the potatoes. They take a little bit longer to hydrate. And actually with the potatoes, if I was just going to cook them in the microwave, I mean in the air fryer, I would do probably just a quarter of a cup of water. But with the potatoes, I'm actually going to use my Dash mini waffle and make two potato waffles first and then make them into fries. And I'll show you that process in just a minute. But while my air fryer is nice and hot, I'm gonna take silicone muffin cake liners. These are great because they don't need to be in a muffin tin and you don't have to grease them or anything. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my sweet potato mixture evenly into these, these three, four little muffin cups. little bit more in some of the other ones get all that goodness out of there and then I'm gonna Plunk them in one at a time, right in here. My, again, my air fryer, I pretty much use 360 for all of the fuelings. Just drop them in without burning yourself. Slide that back in, and I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes, and I'm gonna check to see what they look like in 10 minutes, because I can't remember how much time I need. So I'm gonna try it for 10 minutes, see how they work, and um, I will come back and show you how that looks. Let's check them out after 10 minutes. 
they're looking actually pretty good. So let me pull one out. Again, they're really hot. I'll slide that back in there because I may turn them back on. So it looks like they are, I'll hold this up because they're hot. I'm gonna give it just like two more minutes because what I really want is to see if they will mostly pull away from the sides. Um, I've done this a couple of times and every time I do it, they come out just a little bit different. So I'm gonna drop this back in here, give it like two more minutes and then we will be back to see the results. All right, extra two minutes. I think this is gonna be good. What you have are really little sweet potato puffs. And they probably are, when they cool off, I might be able to pop them out. So I'll show you that later um, when they cool off. But I do wanna show you a couple of other things. Uh, first of all, I meant to tell you, save this tray. So you, you air fry it, take it out of the air fryer, if you are not going to eat this right away, if you're gonna stick it in the fridge, if you're gonna throw it in a lunchbox, save this because when I throw this in here and I put it in a Ziploc baggie, this is gonna protect it from getting smushed in a lunchbox, ask me how I know. Um, so that's gonna cool off. These are gonna cool off. Again, I probably, I may eat those later today for a fueling or I'm just going to let them sit and then stick them in the fridge and have them tomorrow. So in the meantime, this has now been sitting for a good 20 minutes and you can see how much thicker it has gotten in that time frame. It's almost to the consistency that it would be if you had cooked this on the stove using the whole half a cup of water. So it's almost to that consistency. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to preheat my dash mini waffle maker. I'm gonna show you that process of how I make them into waffles. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you anyway and then we're going to make those waffles into um, french fries. So hang out with me and I will be right back. My dash is all heated up, so I just let it sit there till the light goes off and then a little bit longer. I like to make sure that it's super hot. I'm gonna make this into two potato waffles. And so what I'm gonna do is just a really quick spritz. I'm pretty sure I've showed you how I make these in the past, but it's been a while. So about half of the potato goes into the dash, kind of spread it out a little bit. And then I'm going to let this cook for five minutes. It may seem a little bit long, but I like my stuff pretty crunchy. So if you like really soft fries, then maybe only do it for three or four minutes, but I'm gonna do it for five. And then I'm gonna do this other one for five. And when that one's done with its five, I'll show you what they look like. My potato waffles are done, but I wanna jump back to my sweet potatoes. This will be sweet potatoes part two. Um, I was able to get them out once they cooled off, so they did come out. However, they're still really soft in the middle and I tend to like things a little crunchier. So I think what I'm gonna do is I flipped all of them over um, inside the muffin cup and I'm gonna stick them back in there for like another four to five minutes and just make sure that they're cooked so they're crispy all around. So I'll be back in five minutes to show you that. Let's see how they look. Oh, these are much better. Let me just pull them out and then I'll flip them over. They are hot. But you can see we've got nice little puffs of sweet potato and they pop right out of these wash so easily. So those are gonna sit there and cool until later. And again, I don't do anything with these. If you have an extra condiment lying around for the day and you wanna use some sugar-free ketchup for them, by all means do that. Um, as you know, I like to cook and so I need all of my condiments and my healthy fats when I have them for recipes, because I don't do things simple around here. So those are two feelings. Um, I'm gonna grab a knife and I'll show you how to do these into tots or french fries. Okay, so you have two options. You can cut these into like strips so that they are like more like a french fry type. 
For me, the easiest way to do is just to cut it into quarters so that they're more like tater tots. And you get four either. I've got five French fries or four tater tots. Doesn't really matter. Uh, my air fryer is preheated, so I'm going to throw these in the air fryer. Again, I don't use any oil or anything. So this is just a dry air fryer. It's basically a convection oven. Um, it's going to make the outsides really crispy. I am going to do this for six minutes and then I am going to shake. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to shake it and I'm going to do it for another four minutes. So it's a total of 10 minutes. They're already cooked, so they don't need to really cook more. Um, I like them super crispy. You might want to cut back on the times if you like your fries to be a little bit softer. Um, but I will show you how what they look like when I am finished. I'm going to give them a little shake. They're pretty crispy. I think I'm just going to give them like two minutes and be done with it. Here we go. These are my air fried tater tot slash french fries. You can see they're nice and crispy. They're super hot. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and have these for my fueling because it's about time for me to have another one and I'll save the other ones for later. Stay tuned because I am going to be coming back in a few days with the same air fryer, but some of the sweet fuelings to see how you can use those in your air fryer as well. So until I see you the next time, please live in the light.